Nazira was a journalist in Afghanistan. Now she tells her own story as a refugee in America, one cup at a time. You know, everyone, when left the country, there is a reason. And our reason is always uh, insecurity. We are not safe in our own country. Nazira is one of 10 baristas at the recently opened 1951 coffee company on Channing Way. Named after the year the United Nations outlined protections for refugees, it's her first job since arriving in the U.S. two months ago with her husband. And I come here to make our own life, and I'm still worried about my family, my friend, and my other relatives who are living in Afghanistan. If you know the situation in Afghanistan day by day, get worse and worse, and we all pray for them to be safe. The nonprofit, founded by Doug Hewitt and Rachel Tabor, started with a conversation while they were working at an Oakland nonprofit on how to promote the well being of refugees asylum seekers, and special immigration visa holders. We just saw a lot of, you know, challenges that refugees are going through, getting their initial employment in the United States. Hewitt explained that their program, which takes two weeks of training, includes staff from seven countries, and is meant to add value to existing community programs. Um, if they need this job to be something that adds stability to their life, then they can stay here for a while. Um, if they need it to be something that they, you know, kind of like maybe a lot of American students would use it as something to just kind of like get them through a certain stage in their life. Hewitt expressed optimism that the program will expand opportunities for both refugees and the coffee industry, serving as an example for other businesses. When customers enter, he hopes they walk away with more than just a cup of coffee. We hope that this will be a place where they kind of engage those pieces, um, that it causes them to think about that, but more than anything, to get to know our baristas, get to know the people who are working here. While support from the community has been promising, news of the travel ban from the White House concerns staff. They ask questions to us, you know, like, hey, you're, you're an American, you've been here longer, like, you know, what? What does this mean? It can take up to 17 years for a refugee family to resettle. They're demonstrating the power of coffee, not just to offer a job, but a career that could be life-changing. Reporting for Cal TV News, I'm Thomas Maglonia.